Good morning everyone and welcome to my garage. I managed to keep this shirt clean all day and then right before picking up the camera I snuggled my cat and uh, now I'm wearing her. Uh, also a box has arrived. This is a video I'm very excited that I get to make because I legitimately did not think I would be able to do this anytime soon. This is a project I've been wanting to do for a while that was made possible by an incredibly generous viewer. I was beside myself when I received the message with the offer in it to pay for the project that you're going to see in this and the next couple videos. It involves uh, that guy right over there my 2000 Honda Insight, one of my favorite cars that I own simply because of what a moment in time it was. The first hybrid sold here in the US. It beat the Prius to market by a few months and it is just an absolute engineer's dream. So much cool engineering, but so much outdated engineering and I've wanted to bring it a bit more up to date to make it just a little more useful and keep the car on the road for a bit longer. Now, normally this doesn't really make financial sense, especially with how old that car is to dump the amount of money into it that it takes to do this, but thank you to the anonymous viewer who just wired me the money to make this happen. So what we have here is the beginnings of a lithium battery pack for a 2000 Honda Insight. We're converting it to lithium. No more nickel metal hydrate. Uh, but first I gotta unbox it. This is a 2020 Honda Insight lithium hybrid battery and here it is opened up for all the world to see this cost me about $1,200 off eBay shipped via freight weighs about 130 something ish pounds according to the guy who dropped it off though yeah yeah no yeah it's definitely somewhere up in there and uh, it already came disarmed uh, I'm guessing this is the main uh, cutoff battery is more or less inert with that unhooked so uh, what I what I have to do here is I have to disassemble this battery to get the sub packs out because I need to know what configuration the sub packs are based on if the uh, based on how the wires coming out of them are labeled like this is a I think this is an 18 s plus uh, here I'll, I'll, I'll have to look that up again but the purpose of doing all that is so that I order the right kit to put this in my Honda Insight so let's talk about that real quick because yes I did say kit the cool thing about these Honda Insights is that they were built by nerds and they're owned also by nerds and some amazingly brilliant people in this instance Insight Central member Mutter has gone way above and beyond and created a almost retail ready kit to p adapt these sub packs to fit in a Honda Insight. Not just fit in a first gen Honda Insight, but fit inside the case that the original nickel metal hydrate battery cells were in. It's a completely custom battery management board that interfaces with the stock electronics. Only one wire has to be cut and it is completely reversible and it makes it's it's pretty much drop in. Once you cut that one wire, you disassemble your old hybrid pack, put all this stuff in it, put it back in the car, and you're good to go. Of course, I'm grossly oversimplifying things, and there's actually a test you have to take before you can even buy the kit right now because it is still in open beta, but that's what I need to do now. I need to order the kit after I take this apart and figure out exactly what configuration my cells are in. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> uh, the pack was $1,200. I think the kit is another $1,200 on top of that. So like I said, this doesn't necessarily make financial sense. You have to really like these cars. You, you gotta accept the fact that you're probably not gonna make your money back, but this is a massive increase in reliability and power. And we'll, uh, we'll test that later-ish, whenever this is done. Before I start tearing into it though, I'd like to have a little bit of a look around this battery pack. Obviously this is a, quite a different layout than what my old Insight has. Looks like we have some cooling. This is 
air cooled it appears no liquid cooling here um, let's see it looks like that's the uh, it looks analogous to the relay board on my old insights pack this would be the battery control module so the DC to DC converter is probably external to this pack um, battery control module made by Hitachi they make good massagers one would say that they're magic oh and also um, you know usual warning uh, this can kill you uh, very very easily the voltage in these as well as being high is also DC AC voltage will cause muscle spasms and generally the offending limb will throw itself clear uh, DC does not do that um, DC will grab and hold you so either be confident in what you're doing and know what you're doing or be very very at peace with yourself um, a five second Google search didn't really pull up many resources on how to take these apart so I'm kinda of going into this blind and I'm just kind of yeah <laughs> uh, I guess I'll go get some tools certainly a mess. I did get a whole lot of really nice hardware out of it though. So, you know, worth. And here's what we're left with. Four sub packs, 18S and 12S. And if I remember correctly, and I could be completely wrong, I'm gonna go Google it to make sure. Uh, there, there's, there's a couple types here. There's 18S plus, 18S minus, 12S plus, and 12S minus. I think the plus or minus is which end of the sub pack the uh, I think this is the balance connector is coming out of. So on these, these are 18S because they're bigger, minus because it's coming out of the minus side, and these are 12S plus, I believe. I need to go confirm that. I'll have text on the screen to tell you if I'm correct or not. Uh, and we only use three of these. I believe we use these, two, both of these, and one of these, and that makes the pack. There's going to be a future revision, I think, that will also use the fourth one here and give you even more watt hours but uh the 42 amp hour package or is it 42 amp hours i don't remember the, the the pack that i'm building is just these three now in case it's not painfully obvious i am not an expert on this please go read insight central if you are even remotely interested in this project doing this to your own honda insight and uh, i don't think you want to take these out all of these cells are held under compression um, for reasons because of the way that lithium ion works. I'm not really sure, but uh, it's quite a thing. You can see each of the cells in the pack here, these bars, that's the whole cell, spans the whole width of this, I believe. I, yeah, because I can see through it. It's a see-through battery pack, how about that? Well, I'm gonna go do some reading and I'm gonna go order the kit itself or at least shoot Mutter a message and tell him that I want one. Really, I'm just finally stoked that some progress is getting made on this project. And also, my buddy Jay is taking on the same project himself, and I'll probably be doing another one of these installs in his car. So, hey, two Lithium Insights here in Wichita, Kansas. How cool is that? Thanks for watching.